Good morning. How are you guys doing? Um, I'm sitting out in my truck this morning just enjoying the rain. Because we don't get a lot of it here. And where I grew up, it rained a lot, Louisiana. And then where I lived most recently in Florida, it rained every afternoon at 3 o'clock all summer. Every afternoon at 3 o'clock. Um, this week's assignment, we talked about the moment that you knew this is what you wanted to do. And amazing responses, by the way. Love it. Um, as for me, I've had several. When um, I was in high school, I had uh, great difficulty deciding what I wanted to be. We had um, uh, my guidance counselor in, in high school was a huge help. He, uh, I would spend every minute I wasn't in class, basically in his office trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And he had the computer system that had, well, you know, computers. Um, but this was, you know, 1986, 87. So they weren't fire-breathing monsters. This was a computer program that was a black screen with green lettering on top of it that um, that was menu driven. You'd go through and say, "Okay, I'm looking for a job in this," and it would show you the list of jobs, and you'd go through those. Um, so I went on college visits after, as soon when I was a senior in high school, I started looking around for colleges, uh, and there were two that were reasonably close. Well, no, I, I take that back. There were three. They were reasonably close to where I grew up in Louisiana. There was um, Northwestern, which was in Monroe, which is now called the University of or Louisiana State University Monroe or University of Louisiana Monroe, something like that. They changed the name long, uh, not too long ago. There was um, Louisiana Tech University, which was um, more of an engineering school, like high high level, whatever. Um, and then. What was the other one? There was another one in Natchitoches. Um, sorry about that. I had a pop up. Um, Natchitoches, Louisiana. Where, for those that enjoy their chick flicks, uh, would have seen in the movie Steel Magnolias. Yeah. Um, so I've had several of those moments. The most recent being when I. Um, taught my first class here uh, in spring and the end of the class I just had the moment of like okay it took me 42 years but this is it um, so you can hope well there's two ways to look at it one way is good that you only have one and you latch on to that and go with it um, I'm in a uh, uh, adjunct leadership academy thing that uh, that the college is doing and one of the ladies there has um, she kind of latched on to her strengths very early and has accomplished much like uh, written books and you know got PhDs in this and and you know all this kind of stuff and that that's great but it's also kind of fun to have several of those moments and change up some things over your life doesn't get boring that way not that it would get boring doing what you love to do, but sometimes finding what you love is difficult. But that's enough about me. Four minutes of squawking. Um, so see you guys in the lab. Bye.